Well, this is my first video. I'm having to use the Xbox for the voiceover, so you'll have to forgive me if it's a bit uh, rubbish. Same for my commentary, really. In this video, I'm going to be showing a bit of a carry in the Sherman Firefly, and I'll give a bit of a brief overview of the tank. I'll give you a brief catch-up to where I am, because the Xbox doesn't let me record full games. I was around A4 on this map. However, the flank collapsed, and um, basically I got out of there. It's never worth trying to hold a flank alone. All that happens is you die. This tank, thankfully, is fast enough for you to do that, providing you notice when things are going south a little bit early. It's got a speed limit of about 35 kilometers per hour, so whilst you're not you know, stuck to one route, like you would be in a T95, you can't relocate like a lot of medium tanks can, so you really need to kind of preempt what's going to be happening. At this point, I've turned around and um, come to join my teammates facing these reds here, so hopefully we can focus fire on them. I am aware that the Reds behind me are going to push up, so I, I um, try driving around this rock here so that they can't shoot me in the back, basically. It's always worth remembering that just because Reds might vanish from a map, it doesn't mean they're not there, you know, they're still coming for you. So you've always got to bear that in mind. Um, big aspect of situational awareness that, you know, there's always more than what's just in front of you. With that in mind, I've driven forwards here. Whilst this has left me exposed, I don't want any of those tanks hitting me in the back because I know they've got a pretty one S and he could really mess me up, as could be 2150 if he's got a derp gun. I took some hits there, as you can see the armour on this um, tank is not really worth anything, you know, if things hit you, they're, you know, they're going to pen unless you get a freak bounce. The DPM though is good, I was able to obviously just DPM that medium tank out. I have got myself stuck here like an idiot. Um, I get lucky somehow, artillery doesn't even manage to hurt me at all, and the KV-2 misses. I should have been dead there basically, that was an idiot mistake on my part. Again, um, coming back to situational awareness, I was ready for these guys to come round and now I'm able to ambush this guy while he's preoccupied with artillery. Thankfully, he doesn't manage to kill the artillery and turns after me. Our artillery had a really good game, doing about 2.5k in his um, M41. And he really helped carry this game as well. He had a really good game, so I'm thankful he stayed alive. At this point, I'm having to try and use the terrain here so that the enemy have to overextend to get to me. I can either blow out the tracks if they try driving around, or they've got to basically crest this hill. At this point I've switched to premium, purely because even though I can pay this, uh, pen this KV-1S with AP rounds, in these kind of situations you really don't want RNG, um, you know, going bad on you basically. So I switched to APCR, or whatever it's premium round is, I'm not too sure, I've not checked. Just to make sure that I actually pen this tank, because I do not want to risk him shooting me, because he can one-shot me at this point. Again, that artillery player though is murdering everything basically. That medium tank I was over here, the artillery player took him out a minute ago. At this point I'm still looking for him. I've been a bit of a you know a bit of a derp moment here and not noticed he's dead. I look at the top at this point and they've only got two tanks left. At the start of this replay they had ten to R5. So this is one of those kind of snatching uh, victory from defeat kind of moments. Red team mustn't have been very pleased. Back to the tank itself here, I'm just auto-aiming this Matilda because whilst the Matilda's got really good armour, the penetration on this 17 pounder is really, really good. So against this, I don't really have to aim at weak spots. Against higher tier tanks, I would still advise it. You can auto-aim lower tier tanks, but you've got to be careful not to overdo it or get too cocky because, you know, it can cost you. This is showing the downside of the mobility of the tank, the VK over there. And the one, the tier 6 Panther, basically, is able to outrun the Firefly with ease. Never going to keep up with him. That's the same for pretty much every other tier 6 medium tank. You can't use this tank like a standard medium. It's just not got the speed to do it, and it's huge. And the gun depression isn't great, considering the height of it. What this tank does is support, basically. It's got really high penetration, good accuracy, great rate of fire. Basically, want other tanks to be taking hits for you. I know it might sound a little bit selfish, but that's what support tanks do. Let other tanks be taking the hits, ideally heavies, who can, you know, hopefully bounce, and you use your DPM and your gun to just tear up everything they're engaging, basically. And if you do that, this tank is pretty good. It plays a bit like the old Tiger, basically. You know, you want to engage distracted enemies, enemies who can't hit you because your accuracy is better and you keep them at range. Um, if you do that, you should be fine. I hope this video has not been too bad, giving you a brief overview of what the tank can do. Thanks for watching.